All right, well, you know, again, it, it takes a lot. There's a little bit of bubbles coming out. I didn't refill the radiator, though. You can see the bubbles there. So I would say this plastic housing is definitely cracked. What a pain. Here's the key here's the new radiator looking forward this is the right side the passenger side but see this clip that's what's holding it on to the air conditioner radiator condenser um, and I could not see it so it's so good to have the new one here so I could see it's not that far from the bottom so that's good to know on this side and it's about the same distance maybe slightly further so it's going to just help me figure out how to unclip this from the other one and it looks like somehow if i can get in there and squeeze this somebody had showed some uh needle nose player things actually right here so i bought this it's got uh, the 90 degree you know pliers that you can change but you see the little inserts inside it's got the 90 degrees so I'm hoping to go and squeeze that and then hopefully release that and then I mean that's it it's on there snug but that's it and then the bottom looks like this and it's in a rubber pushing so you just got to push up really hard on that it looks like oh looks like here's another if for some reason you could go sideways. I don't know how you could but... So At least I have a better idea now that I opened the new one again uh, This was a Nissan. I don't know the number. I'll post it. It's like hundred and eighty dollars ish Looks like it was well packaged it took about a week to get delivered So that looks the same as what I got Okay, so again, I know what's attached and what's not. So these are on the bottom of the radiator. I have the radiator separated from the air conditioner. See how it's moving? So now the only thing holding it in is those rubber boots at the bottom. So I'm going to attempt from the bottom. You can see I got a pretty clear view of that boop, boot. Um, so I'm just going to use a really long screwdriver, keep it on the plastic, and see if I can just force that up. Sorry, I've only got one hand so I need to turn this. Got the boot halfway off on the other side. Boot, I don't know what you call it, but um, I don't think I'd be as confident if for some reason I was reusing this radiator, but knowing that, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold the camera. Well, whatever. <sighs> All right, so that one popped off and Off. So as far as I can tell, this radiator is no longer connected. All right, so I was able to do that. I really just got underneath and used leverage to pull that bottom boot off the one side. And then the other side, it took minutes, just a really long screwdriver. Um, I had that just so it didn't pop in again just again this is what it looks like you know this is just for the windshield wiper there was a torx i think 12 torx 12. i just pushed it back for the new one to go in just to give myself more room here's the bottom line all right so these are all push-ins for 
the uh, automatic transmission and again this is that rubber bushing at the bottom of the radiator that kind of that ball goes into and then it just snaps into right this right here the new one snaps into that on both sides it's not that far from the bottom so overall so far I can tell you it's been way easier than I expected but that was definitely help from some YouTube videos I'm gonna put the new one in So you got to kind of lift up on the condenser, air conditioner one, so that the new one goes up underneath it. So it's a little bit. There we go. There we go. So that one snapped. This one. Oh, there you go. You heard it snap. So, you're seeing me do that was obviously the main part. You got to lift on the air conditioner, get the new radiator down, and then drop the new air conditioner down because it's kind of got, got, got loops. Um, it goes into those bushings nice and easy. So that looked good. So here's the new radiator in. I gotta take those red things off to put the uh, automatic transmission lines in. They just snap in so they're nice and easy. And they come with the C rings, thank God, since I lost one. So I'm just gonna snap all that stuff into place. 